Hello friends, now I am going to show you how to manage your PHP MySQL database easily. The management is the create, edit and delete and export or import your database. Uh, just download the ZAMP which is the link is in the description and open the Chrome browser and just type the localhost slash PHP MyAdmin and then just follow me. Uh, you have to open the control panel of ZAMP and then start the Apache in MySQL. You actually have started already, so you just start your PHP um, Apache in MySQL. Now just type the localhost slash PHP MyAdmin as noticed, and then go to the database option. Here you can uh, have a number of options for the databases uh, by making the MySQL database in terms of PHP MyAdmin. Uh, click the databases. The default database are shown in the uh, database category and you should not delete uh, the default databases it will uh, misbehave some of the privileges options if you want to create a database click create just type and if you want the collation numbers means you can if you don't want this just leave it and just click the create the database shell has been created now click the notification to dismiss uh, in the options, just to go to the uh, database options, you can create number of the tables uh, like uh, usernames, users, and the columns with the one or two or three columns. Uh, according to the numbers you give, the column will be created. And um, now there is a number of options for the SQL. You can uh, run the SQL query directly in the query uh, running options. Then click by typing the create database like that, create a new database like that. You can type the queries and you can search the queries and query the database because there is no tables found in there so that you cannot query the database. Now, the main options is uh, operations. Here, you can have the number of properties of your databases, database comments uh, like a keyword for a user. User maintenance like that. I'm sorry, for, sorry for the spelling mistake. Okay. Now uh, you can manage rename the databases. Actually, in, uh, in the SQL query, you can alter the table by renaming it using a simple query. But uh, it is more easy for you to rename like that. Uh, underscore sv. Now your database has been renamed. And in another options, there is a uh, main major options called the drop the databases. You can delete your databases wholly by the simple query called drop the database. Click the uh, drop query, and now the uh, shan underscore sv will be deleted. Yeah. The default database will be shown, and you should not delete that. Uh, now the major option coming to closer with is called import option. In the import option, uh, you should not uh, directly import your databases because you have to create a, a new database in name, then only you have to uh, uh, import. For example, I show you the import and choose the file. And I have created a database in the name of quick underscore db uh, in the new folder um, database, the quick underscore db. If I open means all uh, the interruption and ticket uh, just not, uh, not use it just go. it will shows me error because there is no tables or no any databases I have already created so first of all before importing that you have to go to the database and create in that name so that means the uh, database you want to upload quick underscore debit create the database in that same name then create now, okay now just go to the input and select the same database okay now what the allow interruptions and then click okay sorry it also shows the error quick underscore debit and the same name to the input oh sorry and just you should not import it directly in the main options. Click the databases and go to the debit, and then you have the import options. There you can upload it. Yeah.
how importer has been successfully created. Like that, you have to check each and every uh, options in that because in the home page there is a import and export options. In the database going into the database also the same user import and options, but the operations are vary. So you can uh, import or export it using that. Export is simply easy. Just if you want to customize, that means you can create select the table which you want specifically want to export like that. Uh, no, just uh, the quick and using the format is cure is enough. Go just uh, the same uh, database will be exported. That's all. Please subscribe me and thanks for watching this video.